एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम can give me an example of a real life object which is two dimensional if not watch the video to get the answer welcome to s chand academy i am anmol bhatia and this is lecture number 7 of the series engineering graphics and in this lecture we would be covering about the projection of planes so let us start the video If you want to refer to the book by S Chand Publishing you can click the link below. So this is the first part of the lecture 7 which is projection of planes. So initially before starting this uh, lecture let me quickly give you a recap of what is a plane. So plane is any uh, two dimensional object uh which is not having thickness let's say it namely it has length and breadth but it do not have any thickness so talking about triangles rectangles that is a situation which is an example that uh, says the book says that it is the case of a two dimensional object but if i ask the real life example of a two dimensional object so for that you need to watch the video carefully In this concept, we would be learning about uh, the situation in which the plane is inclined to both the planes. In the previous uh, concept, the line was inclined to both the planes, namely H P and V P. But here, the plane would be inclined to both the situations or both the planes, uh, both the horizontal plane and the vertical plane. So, in order to elaborate upon the concept, I'll be taking an example. before coming to that example let me brief you about the course modules that we have already covered we have covered uh, uh, this orthographic projection in module number 2 and we have also covered the projection of points and line concepts in the previous uh, lectures now in this lecture we will be covering about the projection of planes so in order to explain you the situation uh, let me have an example and this example says that you have a rectangle which is 60 by 60 mm by 60 mm so you have rectangle which is 60 by 60 and it is resting on the horizontal plane with some small side so let me visualize let me give you some visual example of the same let's say i have a book uh, and let me name these two planes as horizontal plane and the vertical plane so this vertical one is the vertical plane and this horizontal one is the horizontal plane now what i have i have a rectangle let's say i have a rectangle like this and i keep this rectangle on the surface which is the horizontal plane now if i look at the object from the front i'll get the front view here which is obviously a line and from the top i'll get the uh, the top view which is obviously a rectangle but if i give you a twist and that twist is i have this line surface the the surface of this plane is inclined to the horizontal plane like this so the horizontal plane or this surface is having an inclination with the horizontal plane let's say at an angle of theta so for this if i look at the object from the front i'll get the inclined line in the vp same inclined line and i'll get the shorter uh, cross section surface which is a rectangle on the horizontal plane there is one more twist when we have an inclination with the vertical plane also so we'll get the reduced cross section length uh, rectangle on the vp and on the hp so it is very difficult for us to make both the things so how do we proceed we have a fixed procedure for making the same um, question or the same concept so for this you have to look for the surface initially here the surface part would be of utmost interest to you you would always look for 
और यू विल ऑलवेज आस्क अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम योर सेल्फ लाइक सरफेस इज इंक्लाइंड टू विच प्लेन टू विच प्लेन राइट इफ द सरफेस इज इंक्लाइंड टू हॉरिजोंटल प्लेन वॉट यू विल डू यू विल मेक इट पैरेलल टू द हॉरिजोंटल प्लेन विल मेक दैट सरफेस पैरेलल टू द हॉरिजोंटल प्लेन लेट्स से फॉर एन एग्जाम्पल आई हैड दिस रेक्टांगल एंड दिस रेक्टांगल वॉज हैविंग एन इंक्लिनेशन विद द हॉरिजोंटल प्लेन सो आई के नॉट मेक दिस directly so for that what i'll do i'll make it parallel to the horizontal plane right so i have i have make this uh, rectangle parallel to the horizontal plane now i'll throw the light from the top and look for the top view of this the top view of this would appear as a rectangle right and the front view of this would appear as a line correct so what i'll do i'll make it parallel to the horizontal plane right and the true shape of this will appear on the top view true shape means the rectangle will appear on the top view so as we are dealing in the first quadrant so there is an xy line and this xy line has uh, above xy line you will draw the front view and below xy line you will draw the top view so here as i have told you that the top view uh would indicate the true shape so we'll indicate the rectangle here which is of length 40 by 60 so 40 here 60 here this length can be any imaginary length unless and until stated in the question if it is not stated in the question we have taken the true two arbitrary lengths now its front view its front view is obviously a line so this is the line but i have told you that exactly above the front view it lies the top view so this is front view exactly above the front view there is the top view so i name these points as a b c and d and when i project these points upward i'll get a dash b dash and c dash d dash so i'll have this part done as the first step to the question right so in the first step we generally look for the surface that the surface is inclined to which plane if it is inclined to the horizontal plane will make it parallel to the horizontal plane and make top view and make the true shape as top view but if it is inclined to the vertical plane what will happen the reverse process will take place let's say if the surface is inclined to vp correct so what we'll do we'll make it parallel to vp right we'll make it parallel to vp and the true shape will be made in the front view so if it was mentioned in the question that the surface is making an angle of 50 degree with vp so we'll not start by making this figure in the top view rather we'll make this figure in the front view so this is the first step as far as this question is concerned now coming to the next step next step is rotation or next step is inclination so what we'll do as it was written in the question that the surface of the plane makes an inclination of 50 degree with the hp so this part is 50 degree this angle is 50 degree so that means we'll uh, incline this line at an angle of 50 degree right so after this step we'll have some gap we'll make a projector and then from that projector we'll draw a line of length what the similar length if this is let's say 50 so we'll have the similar length 50 over here on the inclined line what why are we doing all this stuff just to have this reduced cross section rectangle so for this uh, we have this a dash b dash so we'll mark this point as a dash b dash on the line we'll open our compass and measure this distance and cut this arc on the surface of this line name the points similar to the previous one or you can use a1 dash b1 dash c1 dash d1 dash from there draw the projectors so for projectors i may use a light line so here there is one projector there is another projector so draw two projectors from there and two horizontal projectors 
in the forward motion. So two projectors are produced. Now what we, we want to see these namings or labelings play the important role here. If this point is A and we look for the A here, the A point and A point when they matches that will give you the A point of this reduced cross section. Then the B point and B point when they matches it will give you the B point of the reduced cross section. C matches with C will give you the C point and D matches with D will give you D point. You will close the points or join all the points together you will get the reduced cross section. So this is the second step. So the first step was making that surface parallel to horizontal plane then inclining the surface so that this top view is obtained. Now we will focus on the edge part which was given initially in the question. So the question also says that one small side of which is also 30 degree inclined to VP. The question says that the side of this rectangle is also inclined. That means the rectangle was initially having an inclination of uh, 50 degree with the HP. So it was having an inclination with the HP as 50 degree and also one edge is making an angle of 30 degree with the vertical plane. So vertical plane is having this inclination with the surface as uh, 30 degree. So what we will do we have done uh, we have started with the surface. So the surface was inclined to HP initially so we had made it parallel to the horizontal plane and made this first step. Then the second step we inclined the line. So in the line inclination was done and the reduced cross section was produced. Now coming to the last and the final step which is the third step which is the generation of this edge inclination part. So you had these two uh, preparations and after that you will incline the edge. So you will incline the edge in the top view. So what I will do I will uh, just draw a line which is 30 degree inclined to this xy surface. Now uh, I want to trace this rectangle, uh, the surface of rectangle or the square on this surface of the line. So what I will do I will have this AB line and I will mark this AB distance on the inclined line surface. Now what I will do I will open my compass and draw this, take this distance and draw an arc here. In a similar manner I will open my compass and take the distance and draw an arc here. And I will draw the parallel lines from here. Your mini drafter would uh, be very helpful in drawing these parallel lines. What you will do, you will have the mini drafter, you will keep the one surface of the scale of the mini drafter here at an inclination of 30 degree and then what you will do, you will make a parallel line from there. So there would be a parallel line and then again a parallel line and this point is named as C1. And then the process is uh, simple. After that what you need to do, you have to make projectors. So there is one projector, there is another projector, then you have the projector for C and then you have a projector for D. Now what you will do, you will extend these projectors in the forward direction here also and just try to uh, connect the points together. Let us say if this is A point, A point connected to A point will give you this A1 point, B point connected to B point only will give you B point, C connected to C will give you C, D connected to D will give you D. Now join all the points together, A with B, B with C, C with D, so you will get this surface. So initially what we talked about that if I incline the plane with both the surfaces, I get the inclined uh, rectangles as a part of the view. So initially it was very difficult to make it but with the help of this procedure we can easily make this concept uh, um, a success. So with this we come to the end of the first part of the video in which uh, the detailed description was there about the projection of planes in which we learnt about the concept that uh, the plane was inclined to both the horizontal and the vertical plane. In the next part of the video, I will be covering one more example related to the similar concept. You can also refer to the book by S. Chand Publishing. The link of the book is there in the description box below. If you find the video interesting, 
Like, share, subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for future updates. Thank you. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.